Hey, what's up guys? It's Kelvin here, AKA KG Codes. Today, I wanna talk about nine free and cool web APIs you can use in your next project. You know me, I'm a big proponent of not reinventing the wheel. So these are some services you can use to make your project better without trying to go and design all these different features. Uh, a lot of this stuff's been done already a lot better than you can do it. And by, you know, big teams that spend a lot of money to make these solutions perfect. So number one is the Spotify API. I'm pretty sure all of y'all heard of Spotify. Uh, Spotify is a streaming music service. They have an API you can use to create playlists for a user, to um, find music, to do music discovery. All kind of, just about everything you can do with Spotify, you can do through this API and you can connect it to whatever app or service you have to uh, make it better or to do something for Spotify. You can make a Spotify discovery app or something like that. It's pretty cool, pretty slick API and pretty good documentation they have. The next API is called wit.ai. It's a natural language processing service API. So you could technically make a bot that would process some text that a customer wrote and you can understand what that text means programmatically and use it for some service or some logic that you need to do within your service or your app or your website. It's pretty slick. Like this is the future AI bot driven type stuff. And they basically, I think Facebook did it. They basically made an API that you can plug into your own stuff to do the natural language processing. So you can take text and translate it into some sort of commands that a computer can understand or a program can understand and logically make your app or website do something. It's pretty cool. The next app is called the Plaid API. The Plaid API basically allows you to integrate in your app or website the ability for your customers to sign into their bank accounts without you knowing any other details. So it's pretty, pretty nice service that um, I think Vimo already uses it. The Vimo app, the money sharing app, they already use this when you go and put your bank account in there, that's the API it's using. So you could build your own service or app around the same thing. You can get a user's bank, you can sign up with a user's bank account, you can see their information. I mean, you can't take money, of course, but you can see their information. You can create some other service that, you know, you can create a money management service or something to help people get better with their money. You can do whatever you want with it. The next one is not just one API, but it's a suite of APIs. Um, the, they're basically social media APIs, like Facebook has an API, Instagram has an API, Twitter has an API. Basically all the big players in the game, in the social media game have an API. And um, I mean, millions of companies already use these APIs to do a lot of stuff, like Facebook sign in, sign in with Facebook, sign in with Google, sign in with Twitter. Uh, you can read your Instagram pictures. You can read, find other people's Instagram pictures or Facebook pictures. You can post, make a post through the API from whatever your app or service is. There's like a number of things you can do with these social, with all the social media platforms uh, that can allow you to build some pretty cool stuff or pretty cool integrations with your own stuff. The next API is the Genius API. Uh, if you've heard of Genius, it's like a lyric, like a song lyric uh, website or app. I think it's an app too. Uh, they have an API also that you can use to pull lyrics for any song. So I could think of some cool ideas or cool apps that you that could be done with that. As far as like making a, a bot that just you know spits lyrics out or something, or you know taking lyrics and analyzing them and making you know trying to figure out what they mean or something. I don't know, you can do all kinds of stuff with the API. The next API is called Better Doctor and it allows you to find doctors nearby or based on certain search criteria through this API. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can, I mean, I can think of a num number of applications as far as like hooking it into some other app that does some health benefits and someone needs to find a doctor. The next API is called Recipe Puppy. So I know there's a number of apps out there that uh, search for recipes or need recipes like food-based apps or recipe-based apps. Uh, you can use this API for free to facilitate that. Uh, looking up recipes based on certain criteria or certain, certain ingredients. Um, you can create some sort of app that may be uh, based on the ingredients in somebody's fridge. It recommends a, a meal every day. That'd be kind of cool. 
the next API is the eBay API. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about eBay. They also have a, a free API that you can use to submit listings. I think the API you can use it to buy things. Um, but the most important piece is just automatically submitting listings and taking out listings, just list listing management. So if you have, you could create some app for somebody that helps to manage their listings, that auto list for them, takes down listings, automatically updates listings. Then you can search listings to see which one's completed. You maybe can make some sort of service that analyzes the completed listings and uh, recommends what somebody needs to sell next. Um, that's a good idea, actually. Probably should think about that, but if it's not already done. But yeah, that's the eBay API. Last but not least is the Bible API. Um, I could think of a lot of applications for that. If, if um, you know, if, if you're Christian, of course, there's probably some application for you. You could program an app or a website to send you a Bible verse every day. You could look through the Bible uh, with the API calls and you know discern some sort of uh, and make some sort of discernment from it. Um, you could make your own Bible if you wanted to and organize it in the way you want based on the API. There's so many more free APIs that I couldn't just list them all here. So if you have any, you know, suggest them to me. Um, but these are kind of the top ones on my mind that are free and kind of cool. And I think, you know, have a potential to do something cool with. And thank you for checking it out. And uh, let me know what you think about these. and Let me know what some of the projects you might do with them. All right.